the Buddha going to the river bank and watching this Brahmin bathing in the holy river and asks, what are you doing? I'm washing away my sins. Mm. And then what happens after that? I go home. Then the Buddha said, in that case, you go home and become polluted. But the fish that remain here all along, <laughs> and we all laugh. But did the Buddha intend it to be a laugh? Humor is of two kinds. One kind distracts you from reality, the pain of reality, and you forget that you go in there, you watch this one hour program, you think everything is funny, you come back. All right? uh, that's one aspect of them. And this is the aspect that the majority of human beings are going to. They're going for entertainment, they're going for distraction, they are being misled into thinking everything is fine. Okay, but there is another kind of humor, hurting people, making people, laughing at people. Now, this kind of humor is not Buddhist. This kind of humor we cannot use. But if it is humor based on metta, loving kindness, yeah, employ humor, you, you must have a sense of the ridiculous. I don't think Arahants have that kind of sense of humor to see the ridiculous because they see the world as it really is. All right? And many instances, you go back to the Buddha, the Buddha said things which to us from our vantage point was humorous, funny. You know that example of the Buddha going to the river bank and watching this Brahmin bathing in the holy river and ask, what are you doing? I'm washing away my sins. Mm. And then what happens after that? I go home. Then the Buddha said, in that case, you go home and become polluted. But the fish that remain here all along, <laughs> and we all laugh. But did the Buddha intend it to be a laughter? Mm. I don't think so. If I knew the Buddha's <laughs> mind, mm. it was a statement. He pointed out the ridiculousness of it. But his intention was not to create a smile. Hmm. You see, see, so when we use humor, we must be very careful that that whatever humorous remark is made should make the audience reflect, think. All right, humor, of course, is very nice because it makes you uh, distracted. Yeah, but you must be able to come back. A yeah? uh, lot of times, uh, humor can be used to hurt which shouldn't be. Having said that, humor is a very useful device to our talks, which, which our modern audiences have, yeah. have grown out of. 15 minutes is, is as much as most people can handle anymore. Given our digital technology, everything changes so fast. Our young children cannot read a novel, you know, uh, spend two hours or listen to humor helps to break that mm. helps to break the monotony and of course Ajahn Brahms late chief they were masters at it were able to go there and come back so if you are talking about Norbu of course there's a whole lot of healthy humor huge amounts of jokes Buddhist jokes yeah and of course don't forget our the, what do you call it, uh, uh, Jataka stories. Mm. Our Jataka stories are full of humor. You know, uh, the Sankan Chil stories, the, the mouse deer outwitting the tiger, the frog, the all, all of these stories are Buddhist. But, mm. but these were Buddhist stories that came down to us. They are very, very funny, you know, very funny, but the purpose is not to entertain. Mm. The purpose is to open an insight into a deeper reality. Mm. So if you are aware of the purpose of humor, then you use it. Now, uh, I myself cannot use humor in uh, televised uh, discussion, a pre-recorded, because there's no audience. Mm. All right? To, ha to enjoy humor, you must have all the wink, 
the pause, mm -mm. you know, mm -mm. and the, the immediate response. Uh, so the less I do public talks, the less humor I see. Yeah, it makes a point. Because if you study the uh, Buddha's uh, communication strategies, he not only he used so many kind of things, metaphor, yeah, satire, yeah, yes. wit, wit yeah. the pun. Yeah, the pun. So many. Yeah, you have so many. <laughs> and when you read it, you say, was the Buddha trying to be funny? No, no, no. <laughs> Buddha is killing exactly. the use of language. Yeah. yeah right? So so we, we look at the Buddha, it's not dry. And, uh, absolutely, know, yeah. Some of the monks we see, oh, why so serious, you know? You look at the Buddha, actually very... Very funny, but our late chief. Yeah. <laughs> our late chief was, you know, he was so funny, so down to earth. <coughs> mm. And because that's reality. So we we look at this uh, point, the use of humor. I ask this specific <coughs> question. Why? <coughs> because we look at the Buddha's uh, communication strategies, as I said, use metaphor, analogy, wit, pun, yeah, whatever, yeah. you know. And we gathered all this, uh, you know, in the various areas of the suttas. And also some of the uh, compilation, you know, of good uh, authors. Yeah. Uh, the Buddha use of uh, example, uh, met metaphor, satire, you know, as you rightly said, you know, uh, many of these are taken from the Jataka tales. And uh, we found out that many Tibetan Buddhist teachers, they use very good uh, examples, analogies. analogies. So for instance, uh, I just tell you a quick, quick story. It says, uh, this Rinpoche told me, you know, uh, there was a story of the lady right was given a tooth okay and she mistakenly thought this tooth was buddha's tooth and she her faith increased so much every day she chant you know mantra yeah focus chant mantra mantra but somebody noticed that that tooth is just a pig's tooth you know <laughs> nobody dare tell her you know so she keep on chanting 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 until one day uh, she became bodhisattva <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> she yeah. became bodhisattva you know all right, then only somebody can tell her that tooth uh, is not Buddha's tooth, uh, it's yeah. a pig's tooth. Uh. Yeah. By that time, she already crossed the river. Yeah, she, okay. yeah. she, she, like, oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> but the lesson was she believed. Yes. It was a Buddha's yeah. tooth. She took that belief to heart and then practiced, you know, yeah. deep and concentrated. Sila, no, no, no distraction. You know, yeah. Sila was firm. Yeah. Concentration was there. Somebody was there. Yeah. Then suddenly the realization came by itself. Yes. Right? The three, the, 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 the eight, noble yeah. eightfold path right. appeared before her and then she became Bodhisattva. So the monk said, people of, some people requires very little. Yeah. Some people need a lot <coughs> of Dharma. He said, some people need a little bit of Dharma. Yeah. Again. Just so, a focal point. A focal point. So yeah. he said, Maybe like humor, you know, sometimes I tell a joke. Yeah. A joke breaks the situation, you know. Yes. Suddenly monotony, you break it, huh? gives a new perspective. Exactly. Yes. So I think these are all important uh, mm, yeah. cues. I call, I call it Q, T, C, U, E, S. Uh. Q, uh, Q. Cues, you know, yeah. to the timing of this cue is so important. Buddha yeah. uses it so expertly, you know. Yes. And I see sometimes you do that to the audience, you know. So that maybe it's a secret, I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I'm not even aware. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, of this. Sometimes I'm very frightened <coughs> because uh, mm. some of my remarks, that's why when I'm live, mm. it's different from when I'm recorded. Because mm -hmm. like, when I'm live, I can always de deny, you know, especially my jokes about politicians. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but it's, it's, it's not based <coughs> on anger or whatever, it's based actually on metta, mm. to see the foolishness of this and share it with the audience with a person who is not positively inclined towards me, I can be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I have to be very careful. Okay. Sometimes jokes I make about my wife, uh -huh. she doesn't think it's that funny. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think um, uh, this is one element I think we need still need working on Nobu. You know, when to, right. when to uh, uh, execute a cue. You know, we give all the monotonous advice, suddenly you bring in a, a, a metaphor. And suddenly this metaphor crystallizes, you know, what has been explained. Yeah. That is a skill by itself, you know. Yeah. yeah. So we are trying to train the bot in this way. La. So this is, this is why we ask this question, the use of humor, you know, as, as a tool, la, as a cue to break that, that kind of monotony, you know. And, and then kind of like a, 
crystallize, I would say. Now. Yes. Right? Yes. The, 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 we the, have to train the board mm. to use meta as the base. Okay. Not, uh, there are so many forms of, uh, uh, of humor. Yeah. We got to use some and not others. Okay.